Hey, collard lovers. You gotta be a southern boy to like collard greens, and I can guarantee you, I'm southern. This is called a Morris Head variety of collard green. Normally, I use um, Georgia collards, but this year I wanted to try something different. And as you can see, they're quite different than a, a smaller Georgia collard, which is only about this big. And these collards, as you can see, are enormous. Beautiful collards. Um, these right now, this is only the first week of, of uh, November, so they're not quite ready to pick, but they are fully mature. The only thing I'm waiting on right now is for my first frost. And as soon as that frost gets on these collards, they'll be a little bit sweeter and a little bit more tender. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll come back and do some harvesting as soon as as soon as the, the Lord gives us a good frost. Well, we finally got some frost on the collard greens and uh, they're ready to harvest. And uh, as you can see, I grow an abundance of these things for the simple fact that these things come into harvest right around Thanksgiving. And a lot of folks just love to have collard greens at Thanksgiving. So we grow enough to where we can share these collard greens with other people and uh, just be a blessing to them. We're not trying to sell any of our produce we just grow extra just so we can share it and that's what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna harvest one and uh, I'm gonna take it to a very good friend of mine uh, so he'll have some for Thanksgiving and I'm gonna show you how I do a harvest for uh, what I call delivery or one of my friends come over and they want one I just give them the whole plant so I'll, I'll demonstrate that for you take me some locking shears and I go right down to the bottom of the plant you see this big stalk that they have see how they come out on a giant stalk right there you want to get right there behind it cut that whole thing and I usually give them a couple of these Give him one more. Make sure, make sure they got enough. Ready for delivery. Last night we had a really good frost, heavy frost. So today I'm gonna harvest some collards for me and Nancy to eat. I'm gonna cook them for supper. So I wanted to demonstrate with you to, on this last piece on how to uh, prune off and harvest your collards in a way that you can let the plant remain and continue to grow new growth out of the top and cascade out and make new plant, uh, plant leaf where you can uh, harvest it a couple of more times. And that, that would be ideal if you only have a couple of two or three plants. You can harvest them this way, that way they continue to produce instead of whacking out the whole plant at once. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. We start at the bottom and we work our way to the middle. And any of the any of the plant material that's old or have been touching the ground just get rid of that okay I've trimmed it down and I've harvested off um, all the big leaves and I've left the middle 
intact, see? So they can grow new pieces and you can come back in a couple of weeks and this will be uh, cascaded out with new growth and you can get another harvest. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. By his hands, we, we are, are fed. fed. Give Jesus us Lord, Lord our, our daily, daily bread. bread. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day. Thank you for watching our videos. We love making them. If you like the videos, please press like and press subscribe to get free new videos. Also, share so you could inspire and encourage others. Have a blessed day and thank you.